Bird dog. Level one. So the bird dog exercise is one of those ones that people have probably seen um, before. Uh, trouble is probably the way that you might have seen it been done or taught before is actually slightly wrong. So a good way to gauge whether it's right or wrong is if it feels very hard to do, chances are you've probably got it right. If it feels very easy or you can't really work out what the kind of the challenges or the point of the exercise, chances are you're probably doing it incorrectly. A lot of it is to do with the setup. So we'll do level one first of all. So what we're trying to do is trying to almost make, turn ourselves into like a table. So make sure our hands are below our shoulders, knees are below our hips, somewhere square. We're not sort of like pushing ourselves back, we're not too far forward. Just get somewhere you feel like sort of nice and balanced, somewhere in the middle. And want the back as straight as we can get it. So we don't want to be sort of arched here. We don't want to be sort of too far dipped. We don't want to be twisted or buckled. Just get everything sort of well balanced, as straight as you can. Okay, once you've got that point and you're happy with that, what we're going to do now is the setup. So what we need to do is, is to get our shoulders locked in first. We need to push into the floor, push the floor away from you. Then pull your shoulders down here. So it's like a push and a pull. What you should find when you do that is you'll lock your lats in here on the side. And your shoulders are like kind of locked in nicely and secure. So it's a push, pull. That locks in the top half of our torso. Then for the lower half, what we need to do is lock in our brace. Similar to what we do on the McGill curl, but a tense those obliques, switch that brace on, but still be able to breathe. So if we run through the whole thing, so we push, pull for the shoulders, braces on. Only then are we ready to start thinking about lifting an arm. So we're going to take, nominate an arm, we're going to lift, keeping that brace on the entire time, should we breathe, 10 second hold, come down, sweep the floor, brace is still on, never lets go, come back up, hold for 10 seconds, and then carefully down. Only when we finished our reps do we let that tension, that brace go, um, but it's got to be on the whole time. You should be able to breathe the whole time. Again, it's separate to your breathing. So we do our reps on one side and then we're going to go to the other side to complete the set. So we push, pull, brace, come to the other arm. Hold for 10 seconds. Carefully down, sweep the floor, back up and hold for 10 seconds or so. And then carefully down. So again, what we're trying to do, obviously, is when you lift an arm up, obviously you're taking away a base of support so that it's naturally your body's going to want to do this. So to compensate, your body's going to try and do a few things. Either going to try and shift your hips away, or it's going to try and twist your body away from it. What you've got to try and do is keep everything straight and true by using our brace to hold the same shape. So as soon as it lifts, we don't drop, buckle, twist, or change. We stay in that sort of table shape. And we're using this brace here to compensate for losing that base of support. And that's why this exercise should be tough, as you could feel that brace working the entire time because it's trying to stop you from sort of twisting, buckling, and losing shape. So again, like all the other exercises, we're looking at uh, aiming at three sets of eight as our goal, but we're gonna have to work our way towards it. So even if you do singles to begin with, just do one on one side, one on the other, that's the first set done. And try and do two more sets after that but gradually build to three sets of eight repetitions. And again, each rep is lifting the arm, holding for 10 seconds, and then sweeping the floor. So that's one rep down, we come back up, hold for 10 seconds, and then down, that's two reps. But even when you sweep the floor here, like this stays on, it doesn't let go until you finish your set on that side. Then you can, oh, you can kind of let go a little, relax. But then you need to reset it up, push, pull, brace, to start doing the other side, and again, you keep it on the entire time, never lets go, still better breathe, until you finish that set on that side. So again, braces on the whole time, never lets go when you're moving. Make sure you take the time to get the setup correct. So that push, pull, and brace before you start trying to think about lifting the arm up.